it's time for another Let's Play. This time a game that more people have heard of than I thought had heard of it, but still, it's kind of obscure and underlooked. It has an absolutely epic soundtrack, too. I think it was made with the Genesis sound chip in mind. The Genesis had a version of this game, too. And the music is practically the same. The Super Nintendo version of the game is leagues better, just for... Well, one reason, mainly, is cutscenes. I'll let the game explain itself here. based on a 90s cartoon show that was an attempt to revive a legacy hero character from... I forget. I'm gonna need all of those. Storyline complete or summarized? Summarized is basically what the Genesis version is forced into. We're not going to be using that. It basically gives you a PowerPoint presentation instead of cutscenes. But in any case... It's the best Batman game on the Super Nintendo. I'm only partially joking there. Is it waiting for me to... Yeah, it is. It's the stone mask. It's gonna be vampires. Uh, you know, of course, setting it in the future. Genesis version did not get this stuff. It's got this, like, text box that explains found relic in ghost jungle explosion. This is the main map screen. We can't go anywhere at the moment because the game wants us to go to one specific place. The university. going to have to remap some controls. Yeah, this... this is fun. We've got our little rope, and we've got our gun shooter. You yeah, better investigate that explosion, though. very freeform in letting you do what you want. And it actually affects the plot and ending to a degree. Like if we'd gone left after the fleeing ship, then things would have gone a bit differently than if I could forget how to climb. He 
he is a bit paranoid fellow in there. Or suspicious or go all sorts of places. Like we can go to the streets. There is really not much here. That does stun things. It is not without merit. I will admit I am partially wasting time to just show off what this game is like, because I do need to remap the controls at some point. I suppose I could, in theory, just do that. I mean... Eh, just a moment. And we're back. I've got things mapped out a bit more intuitively now. So we will be able to not fail the warehouse. Bouncing me backwards. Oh, anyway. items everywhere and watch me fail everything and we get extensions for this rope that will make it not humiliatingly short. If something looks suspicious, it probably is suspicious. So. I forget how you tell if those walls are destroyed. is a health power up. Very good. You see, we're finding stuff already. And there is plot in here, don't get me wrong. And we're going to stumble across it eventually, but... Too much non-plot to miss out to, that we don't want to miss out on. One of those exploding crates used to give me constant, unending fits when I was younger. I mean, they always explode the exact same way, so sometimes they're harder to avoid than others, but. Once 
you've got the basic idea, if you're careful, they won't get you. We've got a bunch of health kits now, and an energy kit, so... We don't have too much yet. The punch is notable because it does not cost anything to use. That is about the only thing I can say about the punch. Oh, there's the boss area. We're going to backtrack a bit and come around to the other side. I started this game so much as a kid that I know exactly where the boss area for this particular room is. I'm not as in tune on everything about this game. I gotta remember there was actually a health power-up up top, just that there's stuff hidden all over every level, so it's in your best interest to explore. for that one. I suppose we could have smashed through that those walls with it if we had come from the other side, but we did. Ah, so it's tiny rivets on those. That's the key. Yeah, the, the grappling gets phenomenally easier with even a single rope extension. the only way through. I guess the one is if we come in through the bottom wall. Yeah, well. I've probably screwed up the best ending already. My overall goal is to take down maximum ink once and for all. If I can do that, I'll consider the ending good enough. But there really are a lot of variations. Watch me manage to accomplish absolutely nothing. But anyway, that was the time. about characters in this game relative to the cartoon's plot, if you're familiar with it, is that it is effectively season one fan fiction in that regard. It ignores plot twists that will be revealed later on in the series. If you happen to know certain details about various characters. That'll make more sense later on. Well, it'll only make sense if you actually know the series, too. So just ignore me, I'm rambling down. I can just hold the button down. It has been a while. I forgot that was a thing. Oh, 
head butted us to death. Set it to ten for a reason. Okay. Now this is just getting silly. How many hits do you take? Phantom pea shooter gun that doesn't actually. I suppose actually shooting him in the place that takes damage might help. Let us never speak of me shooting him in the wrong spot again. Sound. There we go. New weapon. Oh, well, that's not good. Not good at all. Unfortunately, she does have a point there. We didn't do it, but... We're going to go exploring a bit more later next time. I've failed enough for today. I'm going to be save-stating to keep this game going, just so you know, because it is not too good with the passwords. It has them, but it's not very... pick-up-and-stoppy thingy, rambly words. Later, everyone!